Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. edition Anytime Learning Topic. This lesson provides an overview of the features and benefits available with Sage 50 Release 2023. Many of the changes in this release focus on simplifying the software and making Sage 50 more secure and efficient. With Release 2023, you will discover some valuable additions to the software as well as some areas that have been streamlined to promote system stability and strengthen security. Here are the topics included in this lesson. First, you will see new Sage branding with new program icons and a new Sage logo like the ones you see here. The Actian Zen database engine has been upgraded to a newer, more secure version. In product help has been improved by moving it online so that it works like other similar Windows applications and is easier to access and use. Some items have reached the end of their useful lives, so to simplify Sage 50, they have been removed. And there are some miscellaneous items of note. Support for Form 1099-K has been added to Sage 50, and printing and e-filing 1099 forms have been simplified and made more accessible. Let's take a closer look at each one of these items to discover their impact and the benefits you can realize. Upgrading the Actian Zen database engine to version 15.1 provides many benefits, including full compatibility with the latest updates to the Windows operating system, and it is compatible with Windows 11. The new version also includes enhanced security countermeasures to better protect your company data. These operational performance improvements result in a more stable environment, and the new version paves the way for performance improvements in future releases. Transition to the upgraded version occurs seamlessly during the installation of Release 2023 and should be transparent to users. Here are some notable name changes that occurred with the upgrade. The installation path has changed slightly and the PSQL folder is now titled Zen. You will see the old path name still resident because Actian Zen controls whether folders are added or removed, but it is the new path that will be used for the new version. The database engine process has been renamed to Zen Engine Service 32 and the service has been renamed Zen Engine. And here is some technical information that you may find helpful. Actian Zen version 15.1 will run side by side with Sage 50 releases 2020 through 2022. Earlier Sage 50 releases will not run on version 15.1 and must be run on a separate PC. Actian Zen version 15.1 does not support Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 Release 2. Expect known behavior for server environments. Activations must still occur first on the server. If activations fail, you can still run sageReg.exe to fix the problem. Due to Windows Update requirements and Actian Zen version 15.1, database requirements have changed you should refer to Knowledge Base Article 116054, System Requirements, Sage 50 U.S. Edition 2023, for information about certain operating systems which are affected. If you experience problems opening companies when running side-by-side -side installations with Release 2023, refer to Knowledge Base Article 116521, Prior release companies do not open properly when release 2023 is installed side by side. Now let's take a quick look at how in product help has been improved. The in product help files have all been converted to an online HTML5 format. This updated process is now more in line with similar products in the industry and provides easier navigation, the ability to search, and allows users to provide timely feedback. Maintenance and updates can be accomplished more quickly than in the original format, and now you must have an internet connection to use the online help files. Users with no internet connection will still see the help topics displayed in the old format. 
Let's look at some examples. This is an example of the new online help that will display using your default browser. Notice the feedback panel on the side where you can provide timely feedback and help us dynamically improve the help information. When you are not connected to the internet, you will see the old format as it was in previous versions. But you will find that with the new format, searching the help files is a simpler, more direct process. And the existing Sage Advisor side panels have been refreshed and relabeled as field help for Sage 50 records. Sage 50 has also been simplified and streamlined by removing certain elements of the software that no longer provide value or meet current technological industry standards. These retired items include Sage Intelligence Reporting Desktop, which was retired on October 1st. Support for Internet Explorer was removed for the 2023 release. And from the Office 365 integration, Sage Capture and Approval were retired on July 22nd of this year. Let's take a look at a couple of these items. To replace the custom reporting capability formerly provided by Intelligence Reporting, a new Excel-based add-on product, Logisim XLGL, has been selected for Sage 50. A 20% purchase discount is available. You can obtain a link for the discount by accessing Knowledge Base Article 37301, What are the benefits of maintaining my Sage Business Care Plan? Sage Expert Services is also available to assist you. Refer to Knowledge Base Article 94748, SES, Sage Expert Services for Sage 50 U.S. Edition, for more information. Microsoft's support of Internet Explorer officially ended on June 15, 2022, and for the past few years, supporting both Internet Explorer and more current browsers has required maintenance of multiple sets of code. In addition to being cumbersome, Internet Explorer is now subject to security vulnerabilities and limitations. As well, many third-party websites accessed via Sage 50 have already stopped supporting Internet Explorer, causing connection issues with some services, such as Sage Bank Feeds. By removing the extra code and support for Internet Explorer, Sage 50 has been simplified and streamlined. This makes the Sage 50 software more secure. As part of this process, a new program called WebView 2 is now included in the Release 2023 installation and will be resident in the program path. WebView 2 is a required program that allows seamless communication with third-party websites accessed from Sage 50. If it is inadvertently uninstalled or deleted, it can be restored by running repair. During the Release 2023 installation, you may notice this window displaying. It's important that you click Install to continue the process and allow WebView 2 to install. Here are a few items that merit mentioning. There is no data conversion for the Release 2023 installation, and there is a minor addition to the Sage 50 installation program. During the Release 2023 installation, you will see a new checkbox allowing you to add a desktop shortcut for Sage Resources. Once you click the new Sage Resources icon, you will have quick access to information such as the Sage Knowledge Base, Sage University, and Sage City. Now let's talk about some improvements and additions for 1099 forms. Support for Form 1099-K has been added to Sage 50. The printing process for 1099 forms has changed. If you have no payroll service and last year you printed your 1099s using the custom forms, you will no longer need to do that. With Release 2023, anyone with a valid support plan, even if it does not include the payroll service, will be able to print 1099 forms using the Atrix Print and Sign 1099 forms. You will also be able to purchase just an Atrix e-file plan if you want to e-file your 1099s. Let's see how these changes work. 
you can now issue a Form 1099-K to your vendors using a newly added 1099 default setting to identify those type payments from non-employee compensation and miscellaneous income. The vendor type should still be set to independent contractor, and then you will be able to e-file through Atrix. Any updates to the list of supported 1099 forms will become available with the January 2023 tax update when it is released around mid to late December. Now let's look at how you print 1099 forms when you do not have the payroll service. From the Vendors and Purchases Navigation Center, click the 1099s icon and then select Print 1099s from the drop-down menu. This will open the Select a Report or Form window. Click Preview and Print to access the Atrix Tax Form Selector window. Whenever you access this window, the program will automatically check for and install any payroll forms updates. You must be connected to the Internet. After all updates are installed, the Payroll Tax Form Selector window will open, displaying the 1099 forms and related tax forms available to you. If you have an active payroll plan, you will also see other Atrix forms such as W-2s and Form 941. Select the form that you would like to print. 1099 forms for the 2022 tax year will become available with the January 2023 tax update when it is released in mid to late December. For this example, we will choose the 2021 Form 1099 NEC. After selecting the filing period, Click OK to initiate the 1099 Setup Wizard. On the Company Setup window, you have options to test drive the 1099 Wizard. A test drive behaves just like the normal process, but nothing is saved. For this example, we will choose to start processing 1099s and 1096s. Also for this example, it is assumed that you are filing a single data file and that you are not a third-party preparer. You can click the Help icon anytime for additional information about other selections. Click Next. Now you are asked to verify your taxpayer ID number. Make sure it is correct. This number is pulled from the Federal Employer ID field on the Maintain Company Information window. You will not have a chance to correct this later in the wizard, so if it is wrong, cancel the wizard, access company information, and correct it now. When you are finished, begin the wizard again. Click Next. On the Multiple 1099 Data Files window, select No, I use a single 1099 data file, and click Next. Verify and update the information on the Payer Information window. Information updated here will not update company information in SAGE 50. Click Next. On the Tax Preparer Type page, select the first option and click Next. On the State and Local Tax Items screen, add or edit account numbers as needed and click Next. Answer the question on the Data Verification page and click Next. On the Recipient Identification Numbers window, select your preference for displaying ID numbers. Click Next to launch the 1099 Preparer window. You will see a series of progress messages as Atrix compiles the data. The 1099 Preparer window will open for you to review and confirm your vendor 1099 information. This window is organized in a spreadsheet format and divided into two main areas. The left side contains vendor contact information. The right side contains the payment data. Use the Next and Previous buttons at the top to step through the verification process. At the top of the window, there is also a progress bar so you can see where you are in the process. The column data you should focus on for each step will be highlighted in blue. As you verify the highlighted columns, Click Next to advance to each area in sequence. You can also change the display by grabbing the vertical bar that separates the left and right sides and sliding it right or left. First, verify all taxpayer ID numbers highlighted in blue and click the next arrow at the top of your screen. 
Then verify that the TIN flag is checked for any taxpayer IDs that should be formatted as FEINs, and then click Next. If the Prepare program identifies a TIN that does not have the correct number of digits, you'll be prompted to go back and correct it. You cannot proceed without correcting. The row in error will be highlighted. Make your correction and click Next. Now you can verify the recipient names and addresses. Next, verify the payment data. By default, the total of all payments made to the vendor for the filing year will be entered in Box 1, Non-Employee Compensation. Note you can also update the amounts displayed on the grid. Any changes you make here will not update payment data in Sage 50. You should also verify the filing state and any state amounts. When you're finished, click Next and the complete W-2 1099 e-file service window displays. The wording on this window will be updated for the 2022 tax year when the January tax update becomes available around mid-December. Click Next. On the 1099 Printing and Filing Options window, you will see the complete 1099 e-filing services offered by Atrix with pricing. Here, Atrix makes it easy for you to purchase the e-filing service, even with no payroll tax service. For this demonstration, we will make our own selections. You can choose your own options as needed. Click Next. You will be presented with more information detailing the benefits of the Atrix Complete 1099 e-file service. You can click the Learn More links or click the Back button if you would like to e-file. Otherwise, click Next. On the Review Data window, confirm that the processing options you selected are listed. Click Next. Now all Vendor 1099s and the Company 1096 forms will begin to display in the Forms Viewer one at a time. Use the toolbar at the top of the windows to verify your progress. Use the page arrows to page through each form and review. When you are finished, click Print Final to print the forms. You will see a paper warning. Click OK on the warning, load the correct paper, and on the print window, make your selections and click OK to print. When the printing completes, select Next Step to advance to the next report. A message like this will display between reports. At this point, the printing process begins to repeat. Let's review this process. First, the progress bar identifies which report is being viewed, and in this example, it has changed to report 2 of 4. You can use the page arrows to review each form for accuracy, and then, after reviewing, click the Print Final button, insert the correct forms for printing, and print. After printing, click the Next Step button to advance to the next set of forms and repeat the process until you reach the end. When the last set of reports has been printed or transmitted via e-file, the 1099 History File Options window displays listing the last completed actions. You can select your next steps from the available actions list and click Next to start the selected process. If you are finished, Click Close, and you will be returned to the Select a Report or Form window. For additional information about using Atrix Tax Forms, you can also view the Anytime Learning Lesson entitled Processing Vendor 1099s Using the Atrix Tax Forms Selector. Congratulations! You have successfully navigated the changes and improvements for Sage 50 Release 2023.